Welcome to Study Time, a televised home learning program produced by Rwanda Education Board. Hello everyone. I'm Teacher John. Nice to meet you. This time, I'm with senior six students where we have to continue our lesson, Unit 4, Integration. Remember, last time we were talking about basic integration formula. This is the second part. We continue our lesson, but before continuing our lesson, let me give you just a simple activity to see whether you are still in the mood of dealing with integration, isn't it? Okay, so evaluate. The integral of e power minus 2x plus 1 dx to integral of sine 3x plus the root of 2 dx and uh, integral of 1 over x plus 2 dx. I give you just a minute to evaluate this integral. Then together we shall make the correction chalkboard to see whether we can continue or repeat the lesson if necessary. But I hope we have to continue our lesson because the lesson has been understood. You have one minute. Are you ready? Not yet? Okay, a few seconds. Yeah. Wow. Okay, I hope you are done. Eyes on me, please. Huh? Are you on the chalkboard? We want to make the correction of our activity. Right? We have integral of e power neg 2 x plus 1 dx. So this integral looks like integral of e power a x plus b dx. Remember, this is equal to 1 over a e power a x plus b then plus c, right? So this is not different from that one. So by identification, I can recognize the value of A from here, means A is equal to minus 2, right? And therefore, the solution for our integral should be 1 divided by minus 2, A power neg 2, X plus 1, then plus C. And you are not allowed to maintain a negative sign on the denominator, means that you have Neg half e power neg two x plus one plus c, right? Okay, very nice. Number two, we have the integral of sine of three x plus the root of two dx. This integral looks like integral of sine a x plus b dx. Remember. This is minus 1 over a cosine ax plus b, then plus c. It's up to us to recognize the value of a from this formula in that one. If I compare both integrals, it is obvious that a is equal to 3. Therefore, by having minus 1 over 3, cosine 
3x plus square root of 2 plus c. Are we together? Oh, very nice. Then, number 3, we have the integral of 1 divided by x plus 2 dx. The integral looks like integral of 1 divided by ax plus b dx, which is equal to 1 over a ln of absolute value of ax plus b, then plus c, the constant of integration, isn't it? Yeah, we are together. Thank you very much. Now, when I compare this ax plus b and the x plus 2, means that I have a 1 here, right? So means that a is equal to 1. So I can't write 1 divided by 1 because it is 1. So it means from here the integral, will be, the, the answer should be ln of x plus 2 plus c. Because I can't write 1 divided by 1 because it is 1. It's obvious, isn't it? And I'm done with my activity. So you can compare your answers from this activity to these ones. Are they the same? Are they the same? Ah, very nice. See, they're the same. You have understood the lesson. Now, let us continue with this basic integration formula and we move on formula number eight. All right, okay, you can use this part. Eight. You know that when you differentiate tangent of x, you may have sex squared x. Means that the integral of sex squared of x dx is equal to tan x plus c. Then f if we have an expression like this one, sex squared of ax plus b dx. Because of this a, which is the coefficient of x, remember that the x is the, count, the variable of integration. So I'll be having 1 divided by a tangent of ax plus b, then plus c. Isn't it? Let me give you an example for that. Integral of sec, yes, 5x plus 7 dx, okay? So comparing this integral to integral of sec ax plus b, so it, huh? dx, which is equal to tan ax plus b plus c. I have this one divided by a, right? I want to know the value of a, isn't it? Means that a is equal to 5. So I'll be having 1 divided by 5, right? tan of 5x plus 7, then plus c. I'm very sure if you, you, you integrate or you, if you differentiate this function, 1 over 5 tan 5x plus 7 plus c, you will get 6 squared of 5x plus 7. It means if you want to prove your answer, your result, take your, your primitive Differentiate it, you will get the integrand, I mean this function, followed by dx. Right? Very nice. Let us have another example, another function, another formula if you want. When you differentiate cotangent of x, you get minus cosec squared of x. 
It means that the integral of cosec squared of x is equal to minus cotangent of x plus c. In particular, if we have integral of cosec squared of a x plus b dx, that will be minus 1 over a cotan a x plus b then plus c. You need an example for that, isn't it? All right. Allow me to remove this formula because it is still there. Integral of cosec squared of 3 plus 10x dx. This is equal to the integral is no different from what you have there. Integral of cosec squared ax plus b dx. I want to organize my integral in this form, right? So this can be written like integral of cosec squared of 10x plus 3 dx. It's no different from this one. And I have to find the value of a, right? So comparing this expression 10x plus 3 and ax plus b, linear function, a is equal to 10. Therefore, the answer is minus 1 over 10. Cotangent of, yes, 10x plus 3, then plus c. I'm done, right? I hope it is understandable. Let us move on the other equation. When you take, you find the derivative of second of x, right? The, inter, the derivative of second x, you know that derivative of sec x is equal to sec x tan x, right? This is known. It means that if I integrate sec x tan x dx, I may have a sec x plus c, isn't it? It is what you have at this level, isn't it? Right? So let me give you an example for that. Integral of uh, sec of 20 x minus pi times tan 20 x minus pi dx. Pay attention. My, in my integral, sec is involved and the tan is involved. But make sure that the expression in the bracket here for second is the same for tangent. If they are different, there is another way, another method of solving such problem, right? So for the moment, as this expression in bracket is the same, right? The answer should be 1 over a. a for us is 20. We are having 1 over 20, right? Sec of 20x minus pi plus c. I think it's clear, isn't it? All right. Thank you very much. Then, when you have the basic integral for sec x times x, we will need, of course, the formula for cosec x and cotan x, right? Remember that the derivative of cosec x 
is equal to minus cosec x times cotan x. Means that the integral of cosec x cotan x dx is equal to minus cosec x then plus c. When I introduce the expression like this, ax plus b cosec times cotan ax plus b dx, of course, it will be minus 1 over a cosec ax plus b, then plus c, right? It is what you have here. Are we together? Is this clear? Thank you very much. Let me give you an example for that. Example, integral of cosec of 3x minus 11 Cotan 3x minus 11 dx. This is equal to minus 1 over a. For me, a is the coefficient of x. x is the variable of integration. It means a is equal to 3. And remember the expression in the bracket is the same. So I'll be having 1 over 1 third cosec of 3x minus 11 plus c. Very simple. Now, let me give you just one minute to write something on my, from these examples. Then we continue, right? Yeah, okay. You have a few seconds to finish and we continue our lesson. I hope it is interesting and helpful to you. Okay, we are back on our basic integrals. This was trigonometric function, right? And then you want to deal with inverse of trigonometric function, right? You know that the derivative of, of arc sine x equals 1 divided by square root of 1 minus x squared. And the derivative of arc cosine x equals minus 1 divided by so root of 1 minus x squared means that if I decide to integrate both sides, dx, so this integral is equal to arc sine of x or sine inverse of x plus c means arc sine of x. Likewise, for this one, when I decide to integrate both sides, means I cancel this operation in many with arc cos of x, means that the integral of, of minus 1 divided by square root of 1 minus x squared 
is equal to ne arc cos x then plus c, isn't it? So that is a formula. We need the more classification. We can continue. The formula is this, 12 and 13. But yes, we have also 14. Let me give you the, that formula. Then I give you an activity. You know that the derivative of tan inverse of x, this is arc tan of x, this is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus x squared. Isn't it? Yeah. Then, the integral of 1 of 1 plus x squared dx, of course, the function which have been differentiated to give this is tan inverse of x, then plus c. Similarly for arc derivative of arc cotan x, just we change the sign. It goes minus 1 over 1 plus x squared. Means that the integral of negative 1 divided by 1 plus x squared dx is equal to arc cotan x plus c, right? Is that difficult? Not at all. So you need now to exercise, like simple activity, to verify whether you have understood something, but I'm very sure you will, you, you will make it. Please take your exercise book. We have an activity here. Activity. Yeah, okay. One, evaluate. Integral tan 12x minus 2 sec 12x minus, minus 2 equals rdx, sorry. 2 integral of cosine uh, 7x minus a half. Yes, dx. 3. Uh, integral of sec minus 3x plus 8 tan minus 3x plus 8 dx and oh, I have the sec and tan. Oh, let me change. I put cosec and cotan dx. Okay, so you can do these three, three exercises. Just one minute, and we make the correction together before leaving you a homework. Go on. Are you done? Hope you are done. We have integral of tan of 12x minus 2 
times the sec of 12x minus 2dx. When I have a turn and sec here, and the coefficient of x is different from 1, the answer is obvious. It is 1 over 12 sec of 12x minus 2 plus c. Just application of the formula, right? Two, we have cosine of 7x minus a half dx. We know the formula for this. It is a sine of ax plus b, but it has to recognize the value of a, which is the coefficient of x. x, understand that is the the variable of integration. So for me, a is equal to seven. Means that the answer, because it is one over a, I'll be having one over seven, right? Sine seven x minus a half plus c. I hope it is very simple, right? So the last, there is cosec and cotan here, right? Just we change the sign, neg cosec, cotan, negative sign, and the value of a, one divided by a. So means that we'll be having one minus one divided by, for me, a is negative three, or so I divided by minus three, then cosec of minus three x plus eight, then plus c. So means that the answer is one third cosec of minus three x plus eight, ten plus c, and you are done. Is it bad if I give you a homework? Ah, yeah, I told you to, we were expecting. Don't, let me give you a homework here. The homework, you can even start by this one. Oh, homework. Number one, yes. Minus 5x dx, right? Number two, integral of 5 sec of 1 minus x tan 1 minus x dx. Three, integral of cosec of 2x cotan 2x dx 3 integral of 1 of um, 5 minus 2x dx and finally integral of 2 power x minus 1 dx this is enough Thank you very much. I hope to meet you next time. Always, I used to wish you all the best.